you first take a look at Kratos, what do you see? A strong, intimidating brute who probably should put some lotion on his ashy skin. But there's more than meets the eye, because behind his brooding face, Kratos is just a guy that was trying to live his life when shit hit the fan. Despite the name God of War, Kratos wasn't born as a god. He was technically a demigod whose mother was immortal and whose father was the gods of all gods, Zeus. Kratos was raised by his mother and didn't know his father's identity. Like all Spartan boys, Kratos and his half-brother trained together in hopes of becoming Spartan soldiers, when the gods interfered. You see, Zeus heard prophecies of one of his sons, a marked warrior, killing him. So he did what any good leader would do, send someone else to do his dirty work. Ordering Athena and Ares to kill his son, the two attacked Kratos and his brother while they were training. The gods saw that one of the brothers had distinct birthmarks and took that brother to the god of death. The problem is, they made a mistake. You see, Kratos' brother had strange birthmarks, but technically it wasn't Zeus' son. So all they ended up doing was pissing off Kratos. Determined by the loss of his brother, Kratos became a feared general in the Spartan army and in memory of his brother got tattoos of his brother's birthmarks. It seems like unless Kratos tattoos it, he doesn't remember it because apparently he forgot that Ares killed his brother. Out of desperation and fear of losing a battle, Kratos pledged his allegiance to Ares, the god of war. Kratos goes on to serve as a warrior for Ares by spreading chaos. He is ordered to attack a village and kill everyone in the village's temple. Unknown to Kratos, this was Ares' attempt to sever Kratos' ties to humanity by putting Kratos' wife and daughter in the temple too. Kratos, in a blind rage, ended up killing his whole family. After he realized what he'd done, he burned their bodies with the rest of his victims and the temple. Not only was he devastated, but he was also cursed by the village's oracle to wear the ashes of his family permanently on his skin. Filled with hatred, Kratos broke his allegiance to Ares and was tortured for his betrayal, but was later free after carrying out several of Ares' tasks. After that, he was still haunted by the nightmares of killing his family and vowed to serve the gods to repent. That's when Athena offered to ease his pain if he killed Ares. So he did what she asked killed Ares and became the new god of war. But he was still haunted and continued to serve as a god. That was until a threatened Zeus tricked Kratos into giving up his powers and killed him. Pissed, Kratos climbed out from Hades, killed Zeus, despite learning that Zeus was his father, and unleashed hell on all the gods. And let's face it, they kind of had it coming. After bringing a fall to Mount Olympus, Kratos moved to the Norse realm of Midgar, hiding his past life as the god of war. He settled with a new wife, they had a son, and lived happily ever after, until his wife died of an illness. Then he and his son journeyed to fulfill his wife's last wish of spreading her ashes in the furthest reaches of all the realms. Along the way, he angered a few Norse gods. There was lots of blood, beheadings, and brooding along the way. And a few memes later, he became a better father. The end.